Hi friends, Miss Janelle again. I'm here feeding the fish. Um, they're doing well. You can see one of them swimming around down there. The other one is behind the plant. Oh no, he's actually up top eating some of the food. There he is. He's up top eating some of the food. Uh, they miss you just like we all do. Hoping you're all staying safe and we hope, you know, someday soon we'll be able to get back to seeing everyone and being back to here. I have a story to read. It's called Commotion in the Ocean. I'm trying to do it and not block the fish, so I'm probably gonna be out of the camera for this. Commotion in the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear, but you can but can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find out who's hiding there. So I'm gonna put the picture up a little closer so you can see. See all kinds of animals. We're gonna look and learn about each of the animals on the next pages. First one we're gonna talk about is a you put it closer, see if you know. Either can you read the word? Or look by the picture, what animal do you think we're gonna learn about? Which creature? It's a crab. It says the crab likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Hmm. Here's our next animal. Maybe you can read it. Or if not, the pictures are a really good clue. It's turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Let's see our next one. Here's our next one. What do you think that says? It's D-O-L-P-H-I-N-S, dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not, how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Our next one's a type of fish. A-N-G-E-L, fish, angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Here's our next creature. You know what that is? It's a jellyfish. The jellyfish just love to giggle. Which other fish think is quite dumb? She knows that it's not at all that useful, but jiggling is a lot of fun. Here's our next one. What creature is that? You see this whole picture? Or maybe you can read it. S-H-A-R-K. Shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. I wouldn't want to get closer to that, would you? No. <laughs> Next is a type of fish. You can see his long nose. It's a swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Next one, look at this one. It's an octopus. Do you know how many arms an octopus has? It's eight. Let's count them. See this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. One's wrapped around the other octopus. It says, having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. So silly. Let's get our next one. Hmm, you know what that one is? It says S-T-I-N-G. R-A-Y, stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, but don't you get too close to him, his tail really stings. How about this one? Hmm, 
What, what creature? L O B S T E R. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Youch. And this is just deep sea. So it talks about the deep sea very far, far, far down. It says, miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size, some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Crazy, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. What creature is this? B-L-U-E, that's a color word, blue. Whale, W-H-A-L-E. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. 100 feet. Whew. You know how tall I am? I'm only five and a half feet. 100 feet is really big. Oh, another creature. So it might be a little tricky walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. See their tusks? Uh, when I was little, this used to be my most favorite ever. You know what animal that is? P-E-N-G-U-I-N-S. Remember when Miss Bess did the cutouts on our wall with the penguins and you could all measure your size too? Wasn't that fun? Can't wait till we get back and have some more fun things like that. Okay, so for penguins, we waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the slide. <laughs> about this one? Type of bear. P-O-L-A-R. B-E-A-R-S, polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with her children since it's very cold out there. They live in the Arctic where it's very chilly and cold. Okay. What a lot of creatures we've seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite, and some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly, and the lobster's very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Hmm. Lots of bubbles, bubbles. The end. See if I can get you to look, get the fish going one more time. See them over here? I hope you can see them. There's one out in the corner there. I guess they've had their food. Their bellies are a little bit full. But they're still here doing well. Everything's still here. Same at school. Just waiting for all of our friends to come back. And hopefully someday soon we will be able to do that. Take care and miss you. Mwah.